The most underrated feature of Apple Vision Pro is the panorama photos. It drops you into an immersive environment instantly by tapping this button right here. We now even have the social media Vision OS apps for you to share your panorama to other Vision Pro users. But iPhone is not the best panorama camera, giving it small sensor and sometimes unstitchable problems. It's better to use a 360 camera like the Insta you see one RS right here, or better, a professional mirrorless camera with a panel head like the Arca Swift Core 75 Leveler CP right here. The problem is that there is a no easy way to show fully immersive 360 photo inside the Apple Vision Pro. Don't get frustrated. Follow this tutorial, you will be able to get your 360 photos into Apple Vision Pro and even start selling them like what I did on my Patreon. We will first show you two methods to see 360 photo natively inside Vision Pro. Then I will teach you how to easily convert any 360 photos into Apple panorama format so Vision Pro user can see them easily. We will cover both Photoshop 2024 and PT GUI professional workflow to maximize your image quality. Let's go. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Vision Pro tutorial for filmmakers and photographers. If you are new here, it will help me and Kimchi a lot by subscribing and hit the notification bell. First, let me show you how to view 360 photos directly inside Apple Vision Pro. The easiest one is A360 Viewers, which is a free Vision OS app. My 14K high quality 260 photo totally work on there. So right now it's just a regular photo. And then I start dialing, look at that, start dialing digital crown. My cameras disappear. Now I'm in ice and fly on top of the ice on a volcano, on a volcano of tree of light. Volcano explosion just happening in Iceland right now, actually. Look at that. Like it's an Iceland volcano inside Apple Vision Pro fully immersive and you can dial in and out from your environment like out of your environment in fully immersive environment this is crazy oh my god this is the best app on vision pro and it's free it's a free app guys it's crazy oh by the way if you don't know already i am a pretty well-known 260 photographer on facebook under the account 260 creator my recent 260 photo of the Dominican Republic and Haiti got over half a million views and over 2.2 thousand likes and still keep growing. And I will provide all these 260 photo and several other in my Caribbean Islands collection free for download. If you don't have a 14K 260 photo to test on your Vision Pro, these free photos will make you really happy. You'll discover jaw-dropping image quality that you don't even know your Vision Pro is capable of. The link is in the description down below. Don't forget to drop this video a like. Even the free A260 Viewer app is great. But if you want 3D 260 or VR 180, photo capture with the Canon R5C right here with the dual fish lens, then you will need a pay app like Reality Player or Moon Player. Reality Player will support all the 3D formats. As you see here, a 3D photo inside the Vatican City, St. Peter's Basilica. By the way, you can also build your own 3D 180 or 3D 360 photo viewers using WebXR and Vision Pro Safari browser for an immersive virtual tour. You can follow this in-depth tutorial here. What if? You just want to easily convert all your 360 photos in Apple Panorama format, so your viewers do not need to download anything to enjoy them. Keep watching. The second part of this tutorial is dedicated to our community of 360 photographers. You don't need a Vision Pro to start creating Vision Pro content, especially with the new Vision Pro social media apps like Immersive Share, where you can post your epic panorama photo using your iPhone without the need of a Vision Pro, and other Vision Pro users can see them inside AVP. Pretty cool. Get on it now before it becomes the next Instagram or TikTok. So if you are a professional 360 photographer, you might already know or have the PD GUI software. If you are using a camera system like this, you will need PD GUI to stitch your panorama. So open up your stitch 360 photo inside PD GUI, 
directly open up Panorama Editor, switch from spherical to cylindrical panorama, you should see this. Now go back to your project window and click Create Panorama. Go back to Panorama Editor, make sure you can see the width and height of your output image. An Apple Panorama photo from an iPhone 15 Pro Max right here is roughly 16,000K in 5 by 1 ratio. So we are going to match this. By dragging the left slider up, you are cropping the top and bottom bump, keeping the width untouched to keep max resolution. Set the height roughly around 3200s. Now you can export this into JPEG. Set the quality to 100% and save it by clicking Create Panorama button. Send this photo using AirDrop into your Vision Pro photo album or upload it directly onto Immersive Share. Now you can see it inside your Vision Pro without any third party app. How cool is that? Okay, what if you use a 360 camera like the Insta 360 One RS right here, or even better, the Insta 360 X3 right here? Well, most of you casual photographer will not have PT GUI, but you can still do it inside Photoshop. Photoshop is kind of requirement nowadays with Gen AI. You're really missing out if you are only using Affinity Photo. Besides Photoshop, you also need a plugin called Flexify 2. I put the download link down below. Open up any 3 see photo. If you don't have one to follow along, I provide some for free. Download link in the description down below. After installing Flexify 2, it will show up on the top menu bar. Filters, Flaming Peer, Flexify 2. First, make sure sharpening is 100% and edge, the halo are all checked. So the conversion gives you the best quality output. Photography business is competitive. So make sure your workflow gives you the best quality output to stay ahead of your competition. If you are not taking notes, you should now. The input is eco rectangular, which is the scientific name of 360 photos. Output is cylindrical just like PD GUI. This projection has minimum to no distortion in the center. It stimulates the capture method of the iPhone 15 Pro, but without doing the hard work by painting your body. Now hit OK. Now crop the top and bottom to create a 1 by 5 ratio panel image. Go to your marquee tool, set the style to fixed ratio and width to 5 and height to 1. Drag a box in the center of the image, hit layer mask right here to crop out the top and bottom. Go to image, trim, and trim the transparent pixels. Now put in your logo so people won't steal your beautiful work, and you are ready to export this masterpiece. Go to file, export, export as, and make sure your width is still 16,000 and export it as JPEG. Now upload this onto your Vision Pro and enjoy it. You can also email this to any of your friends who have a Vision Pro. They can see it without any third-party app. Pretty amazing. My 360 panorama is ridiculous high quality compared to the iPhone 15 Pro Max right here. My secret camera rig is right here. It is small and portable, but I can use it to capture a gigapixel panorama with precise degree control and painless stitching in post. If you want to learn more how to capture Stunning to see photos for Apple Vision Pro. Check out this video right here next. If you are new here and you like photography and want to make money with your art, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right here. I will see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.